here's the take. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now. It hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Bantamweight Championship fight. Rousey is 28, Nunez is 32. The rest of the numbers are close. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world it's fighting out of the blue corner this woman is a judo fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins two losses she stands five feet seven inches tall weighing in at 135 pounds fighting out of venice beach california presenting the challenger And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. Amanda the Lioness Nunes. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one, a massive fight feel in this arena tonight because for the first time since... Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Rousey's now trying for the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Here, Will is, is really remarkable to watch. 
All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. Well, back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Lands a hip toss. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business going for it now. So her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Good punch land. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. All right, well, she made the takedown a thing of beauty in that first round. We'll see if she can pick up where she left off. And she has to, because if she is forced to stand here, she's gonna have a very difficult long fight. When she is able to secure takedowns, whether it's a high crotch, whether it's a single, or even from the clinch, she's able to get takedowns in so many different ways. They all lead to her being in a dominant position where she's comfortable. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back in the clinch now. Nunes gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. The right hand is there for him. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. All right, so the fighter, oh, nice ankle kick to get the fight back to the canvas. With conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Well, Rousey's in half guard. Nunez is back into full guard. 
Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground pound. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Fighters back to their feet here. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Ten seconds now to go in the round. Real quick leg kick. How about oh, those God. five minutes? Hey, stop. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spots, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. There's the swing and there's the miss by Nunes. Again, in the clinch. Oh, how good was that judo toss? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC and you see her chop now trying to trap an arm. Joker forced the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop for this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out. seminal moment in a career full of them for Ronda Rousey here tonight. She continues the celebration there with her corner and why not enjoy it? Certainly returning to dominant form here tonight and I think you can say now she's only getting better at this stage of her career. That is a scary proposition for the